It is true that my search for a chair has finally come to an end. And I'm here to tell you all about why I chose this 2020 Secret Lab Titan. So let's just go ahead and take it out. I am here with the 2020 Secret Lab Titan, and there is a reason I didn't choose the 2022, but I will get into that later. The main thing I wanna cover with this video is why me, who's kinda of cheap on certain things, chairs being one of them, ended up with a Secret Lab chair. So I've done two gaming chair videos recently. I did one about the Marcus behind me on this side and the match fell on this side, but the Marcus is my chair. That's what I've been using for the last couple of months. And the reason I did these videos was because, you know, I typically do videos about anything new that I get in the house, but also I myself have been looking for a new chair. Another thing that's changed since the last time I bought a chair is I'm working from home pretty much permanently now. I needed something that was gonna be comfortable for a long period of time. And I was really waiting for Ikea to get the match bell back in stock, which has been out of stock for over a month now. They do have some new gaming chairs that were coming out that are around $300. And I consider getting those if they were in stock, but that got me curious to what I could get for around that $300 price range because before my max was around $200 for a chair, but I always find myself in a position where like a couple years later, I ended up buying a new chair. Usually after a year, it's not comfortable anymore. And before I started buying Ikea chairs, I would literally go to Office Max or Office Depot, which is the same thing now, <laughs> but I would go to one of them. I would sit around in a few chairs and I'd be like, this one's comfortable. And then I would buy that and that would be the chair that I would have for years. So I wanted to do something different this time. I really started doing some research on what's the best chair to buy. So I saw Razor's chair on sale for $350. I read that the cushion is kind of smaller in the middle and it has these wings that kind of force your legs to be in place. Like you can't sit cross-legged like I can with this chair, which is one of the things I hated about having that chair because it had these metal arms that wrapped around and it kind of constrains you. So I wanted a chair that was gonna be open, had a good reputation. The Razor got good reviews, but every review that I watched was like, Secret Lab chairs are still better. They've been around longer, so they kind of have that reputation of having really good chairs, and you know that they last a long time, but just because they've been around longer. So after a lot of research, I went with Secret Lab. They were having a Christmas sale, and their 2020 models were discounted. So were the 2022s. They were both discounted by around $60, I believe, but this chair was on sale for $409. I just got the basic black with the PU leather. I don't know if that's how you say it. I never said PU leather out loud. I just always read it like that online. It's a P and E U, also you're supposed to say it. I like to have a chair that's kind of neutral that will match with everything. Their shipping was really good. Like I ordered this chair on a Saturday night. This was like the week before Christmas. This was my Christmas present to myself. So I ordered this chair the week before Christmas on Saturday and it got here on Tuesday. So if I was actually ordering this for someone for Christmas, it would have actually came in time. The packaging was really, really good. The packaging was exceptional. Even the little screwdriver kit that came with it to put the chair together was really cool. Like it gives you instructions on how to put the chair together. Like you can use the packaging to set the chair on so you don't damage it while you're putting it together. There's like a lot of thought that's just put into this chair outside of the chair itself. Like the whole experience was just really good. Now the shipping time is gonna vary. I know they have two warehouses. Mine came from the one that's in Tennessee. I don't remember where the other warehouse is, but I'll put it on the screen because look, it didn't ship from there, so I don't care. Of course, from Tennessee to Virginia, you know, that's like a sneeze. Like I can sneeze and I'm in Tennessee. It was really fast shipping. I was, I was really impressed. Like when I first got this chair, first impressions, Right off the bat, when I sat in it, I was like, oh wow, this is really comfortable. And then I had to work that day. I worked my whole first day in the chair, and then I got up and I was like, oh wow, nothing hurts. I didn't even realize that I was in pain until I wasn't in pain anymore. And it's just like these little nagging things like my knees would hurt, my back would hurt a little bit. It wasn't like this chair kept me in extreme pain or anything. I just didn't feel any kind of discomfort in this chair. And that's why I think it makes the most sense to invest in like a more expensive chair like this. I'm gonna be using this five days a week for eight hours a day at least. I spend 10 hours a week at least editing videos. So yeah, at least 50 hours a week just for work in YouTube and then 
recreational wise. I'm spending a lot of time in this chair, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm investing in my butt and my back. That those are important things to have in the future. They're important. So I'm just investing in it. Now, the reason that I went with the 2020 model over the 2022, the 2022 does have some really cool improvements. I read about it, I watched videos about it, but essentially the armrest, they come off, they're magnetic, which is really cool. The pillow is actually magnetic. So this little pillow is magnetic. And from what I've heard is actually soft in this pillow. This pillow is all right. It's pretty comfortable. I mean, I left it up here and I never used these neck pillows before. It's still comfortable, but the new one is a little bit softer. And then of course it sticks up there with magnets. Also the lumbar support and the 2020 model is just, it just goes in and out. The 2022 model, it also adjusts up and down, so you can kind of fine tune it. Honestly, for me, the lumbar support is fine. Like I adjusted it to the point where it feels comfortable, so I wouldn't really need to move it up or down, but it's definitely a better chair for people who you know might not be at like an average height that might be taller or shorter and need to do more adjustment. Another reason I got the 2020 model was because this technically supports up to 290 pounds, whereas the regular Titan, I believe, for the 2022 model is actually smaller than this so it supports up to 225 so i would have to step up to the xl which was actually a hundred dollars more than what i paid for this chair so for me the extra features weren't really worth it to pay the extra hundred dollars for the size that i would have wanted because while i am around 225 pounds i'm like 10 or 15 pounds over at this point because the pandemic and the pandemic anyway my weight gain aside for me, it made sense to save the money and get the 2020, but the 2022 does seem like it has some cool upgrades and cool features. Now, another thing I wanted to touch on was also just the overall build quality. For one, the one thing I liked about the Ikea chairs that I thought was impressive, because those were the first chairs I saw with those, was the metal base. So you do get a metal base with this chair. It's actually a lot nicer than the Ikea one. Um, those are still nice, but you know, when you spend... 400 to 500 dollars for a chair you expect high quality and this kind of delivers second you got the dual arm adjustment system which i really like from the marcus the ikea match pro doesn't it has a single arm so this has a dual arm where one arm controls your height the other one controls the tilt of the base but you can actually recline using this which also reclines the base. It's not really for reclining because this actually has a level for reclining. So you can actually use this like a recliner style chair where the base doesn't move up, but you're just reclined back. And that's one of the things I liked about the Marcus was when you recline in it, the base didn't tilt back as much. But this one is completely free from the base adjustment. So you can adjust the base back if you want to, or you can leave the base tilted forward and recline just this part back you get a gaming chair and kind of a chair that you can relax in. it's really like the best of both worlds now another thing that you get with this chair are the armrests remember my biggest thing about the markers was the armrest that had those metal ones that wrapped around the match fell has better armrests it has basically 2d adjustments you can adjust it up and down and in and out these are 4d armrests which i've seen before i just never heard of them referred to as 4D because I'm not deep in the chair game. So basically with 4D armrests, you can move these up or down. You can move them in and out, like you actually tilt them in and out if you want to. You can move them back and forward, and then you can actually ply them side to side. So if you want them a little in a little further, so you can slide them in and you can like tilt them towards you if you want to, or whatever crazy stuff you want to do with them. This gives you four degrees of adjustments. Personally, I'm just gonna stick with my default. I like them like this with a little bit above waist head, they're easily adjustable, but I spent like a whole day just kind of tweaking and adjusting stuff for this chair. They got it perfect, just the way I want it right now. And then the padding is just a lot thicker, especially when I'm comparing it to the Ikea chair. I thought those were good, but like the padding on this is truly next level. Like you just feel so much support when you sit on it. I don't feel like this is gonna wear down in a year or two. It made me realize how thin the actual seat padding is on the Ikea chairs. I will give the Ikea chairs this. Aside from the Marcus's armrests, they're still very comfortable chairs, especially for the price. The one thing that I do like better about the Ikea chairs is these specifically, I like the net back where it has the holes. It breathes a lot better. This material is hot. So I didn't want to get the fabric because I spill stuff a lot. Not that kind of stuff. I didn't want to get the fabric because I didn't want to risk, you know, spilling stuff and not being able to, to wipe it out. But this material is very hot. Like I find myself sometimes sweating at the end of the day because of how hot it is. I do kind of miss having that 
mesh back where everything just flows through like the fill the air just flow through like pocahontas when she could feel the wind just what was that song something 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 about the wind so i don't even think i was like singing a song and like messing up the words i think i just made something up completely in my head another thing that's kind of cool about the match spell is you do have that Headrest adjustment, I don't feel like it's that big of a deal on this chair because you have so much padding on the head area and you can kind of move this pillow down. Like if I was shorter, I could move this pillow down to like here and just put my head on it. So that's not that big of a deal, but it is something that's kind of cool about that chair as well. But I made this video to say, if you're like me and you've never dabbled in $400 to $500 chairs, I can say at least speaking on the secret lab chair, it's worth it. It was a really great experience. Well, that's gonna bring today's video to a conclusion. Hopefully this is the last chair video that I need to do at this point in my life. Cause I'm done, I'm, I'm happy. It probably won't be the last chair video that I'm gonna do because after I got this chair, Jeff now wants to get one. So I probably will have another video with the 2022 model, maybe in a few months. We'll see what happens. But this is my last chair video for a while because I'm finally happy. I'm in a relationship with the chair and I feel good about it. I feel good about it. But if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to tell a friend, tell a coworker, like, share, and subscribe, and always do at least two things at the same time. Peace.